Yo. Alright, um, today I wanted to show you guys how to play a song I just learned. It's, uh, really sweet to play, and it's really not that hard. I mean, it's pretty intermediate. Uh, the hardest part about it really is, uh, just getting the tuning. So, first, here, let me see if I can. Alright, first the tuning is, uh, let's see, let me think about this. D, G, C, G, C, D. So, the easiest way to do that, I'm in that now. It's kind of like an open tuning. But the easiest way to do that, it's from standard, is take your low E string and your D string, and you gotta tune in octaves, if you know what that is. So what you do is you're gonna pluck them both at the same time. So this one, first th string and your third string. Pluck them both at the strain, same time. It's not going to do it now because I'm already in the tuning. But I'm um, plucking both at the same time, and you're going to turn your low E string lower to make it like a deeper noise until they come into the same octave. I know it sounds weird if you don't tune that way, but it's the easiest way to get into like drop D. So once you're there, once you got this down to a D, like a drop D, it should sound like that. Um, you're going to take your high E make that a D as well. So here I can do it with this one. I'll put it out of tune for you. You plug them both at the same time. You hear that they kind of like sound the same. They're both D's but they're in different octaves. So like the 12th fret is where the octave is. I don't know. Enough of that. But um so that's the easy way to get both these D's. And then from there you can go um, fifth fret on the D should match up with what you're gonna make the A. So basically, turn the tune the A to that. The A, the A. You're gonna make fifth fret again with the D. So you're gonna turn your, tune your D like that. Seventh fret on the D is gonna match the G. Fifth fret on the G is gonna match the B, and then just to be sure, and then just to be sure, second fret on your um, B is gonna match your high E, which is now a D. So these two should go together, and then your A and your G should go together. Final two, your B and your D should go together. So they're all in octaves. So octaves, octaves, octaves. And that's probably the most annoying part about this song is like getting in and out of the tuning. But once you got that tuning, time to play the rain song. And that chewed up a good three and a half minutes, so we're sick. Alright, so to start off, you're gonna take uh, your second middle finger and ring finger. You're going to put it on the 7th fret of your D string. I'm going to refer to them as the strings they were before because, I mean, that's the easiest. Or your 3rd string down and your 5th string down. Just like that. And you're going to do an up strum, just like that. So it's just like that. So you're going to go up strum. Strum it a few times. Down a fret. So same thing on the 6th. So. Next, I usually just pluck an open A to kind of fill in the gap when you're switching. So, all right. Now, next, what you're gonna do? You're gonna take your middle, your ring, and your pinky, and you're gonna gonna make a little triangle right here on the fifth fret. So, on your third string down, your D and your B are going to be 5th fret like that and then in between them with your middle finger is going to be 4th fret on the G so it's a triangle so pow 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 right here I don't know it's hard to see there you go and then you're going to strum that twice you're going to lift up your pinky keep the other two down 
put your pointer on the third, strum that once, and then put your pointer on the second. It's a big stretch you got there. And strum that once. So it's... So, so far we got... Like that. And that last part was a little sketchy. But, um, and then after that you can either bar the third, or take these three fingers, and play, um, D, G, and B on the third. So, like that. It's at the end of this, so it's... So that's kind of like the first section. That's like the first big part. Next. All right, next part. You're going to bar the second fret. You don't really need to, but it's a lot easier that way if you can. Bar the second fret like that. You can play that once. And then you're going to put your ring on the fourth fret of your G, your fourth string down. So. that and then you take um, kind of like the first shape you had before here on the seventh you're gonna take it up to, you're gonna start at the eleventh and go so it's eleventh on the D and the B and then you keep this shape and you go eleven nine twelve eleven four and you slide it back up to the ninth but you're going to add an eighth, eighth fret on the A. And you play that twice. So it's. And you play that whole thing twice. So it's. Twice. And that's what you're going to do. And I'm sorry if I'm moving fast, but I'm already seven minutes in, so I don't want to make this forever. Um. It's going to be like a one, two, three thing. So 10th fret on the B, 11th on the G, 12th on the D. You strum that once, and then you slide it all down one fret. So like so. And what you're going to do, you're going to kind of make like an A minor shape down here. So keep your pointer. And you're going to put both of these fingers on the 10th fret of the D and the G. So it's... Got that. And then it's 5th fret on the your high E and your D. Strum that once. Then instead of the 5th fret on the D, you're going to bring down the 4th on the D. So... And then an open to keep your fifth down, so. And then you're going to just pluck just the D string and do like a little hammer on back on the fourth and then back down. So it's, keep, this is, this is here the whole time, so fifth, fourth, open, fifth, fourth, open, and then you go back to the... So you do that three times. Three times total. After the third time, you're going to go kind of like what you did before. The bar the second, then the fourth fret on the um, G. So, And they do a little fill in between there. And it's kind of hard. I still haven't gotten it completely well. But I'm going to show you the chords that are in order. And then I'll show you the fill. Just so once you get the chords down, you can put the fill in. So it's. So what's gonna happen here on this part is on the D string, the next chord is gonna have one fret higher the whole time. So first it's two and four, like that. Next it's three and four. Next it's four and four. 
the next to five and four. So it's kind of like walking up the fret so t the whole time. So it's like. Got it. So two and four, three and four, four and four, five and four. Now if you keep this shape, you can play the next part where you go. like that. So it's going to be second on your high E, second on your B, and fourth, fourth fret on your G. So if you keep that shape, you don't really have to move anything. So just like that. Then you're going to bar the fourth, and then put a, your pointer on the fifth of the high E. And they, ha they throw in a little hammer on with the fourth and fifth, so. And I'm sorry for moving fast again. I really do apologize. Then you're going to bar the second again. Then you're going to take these two fingers, fourth of the A and the B. So it's kind of like bar it. Fourth on the A, fourth on the B, and we're almost done. Last part is second, just the second, everything else is open. Second fret on the A, like that, just like that. You're gonna play second on the E. You're gonna do like a little hammer on pull off, so. And then uh, open on your B and your G, so. Repeats. The whole thing repeats three times, I think, maybe four during the song. But um, each time they change it up a little bit. They like, um, I think they play the thing one extra time during one of them. Um, sorry if it's fast. Um, if the tuning's weird, I mean, you can just look it up on uh, websites or the tab version. If you just look it up on like Ultimate Guitar or something, it'll tell you what the tab is or what the tuning is, and then you can just like look up how to do it. Um, if mine wasn't good enough, um, other than that, I don't know. I guess that's how to play the rain song. Just ask questions if need be. If not, good luck.